So we now have Tin Sin Go, who's head of partnerships for Day Away, and she's rooting for why I choose to work in travel tech right now. So over to you, Pin, to fly the flag for travel. Thank you, Suhoon, for the opportunity. Um, so hello, everyone. My name is Pinsin, currently heading the partnership and sales team for an upcoming startup day away. Um, I started my journey in the travel industry nine years ago when I joined TripAdvisor in the Pioneer sales team. Um, at that time, global travel was witnessing one of its most promising times. And according to McKinsey in 2019, tourism made up approximately 10% of global GDP and was worth almost $9 trillion, which makes the sector three times larger than agriculture. And it's easy to map out why. Tons of new destination, development of technology, improved connectivity, growing middle class, great amount of talent in the space. And everyone in the whole value chain, including TripAdvisor, was after the tourism dollars. So fast track to March 2020, seemingly overnight, hundreds of countries suspended flights or halted international travel. Many businesses were forced to close on a temporary basis, often escalating into permanent closures. Now, this all transpired such that at the peak of the crisis, a shocking 1 million travel and tourism jobs were lost, and I was one of them. So that happened, and I took some time off thereafter and exploring what's next. Um, a couple of months later, I met the founder of Day Away, Martha, through an ex-colleague who mentioned that she's building a startup in the travel tech space. My first thought um, before I even had a conversation with her was she's certainly very brave and innovative um, to want to go into the travel tech space at this point in time. And indeed, after a long conversation, um, I was proven right. And she left me with a strong impression that she's making an impact in the hospitality ecosystem with this new business. So Martha and I continued to conceptualize the business for day away. And at some point in time, she offered me a role in the founding team. Um, at the same time, interestingly, um, I was offered a senior position in the sales team of a financial company. So I was clearly at a crossroads. So why did I choose Day Away and stay in the travel industry? So first of all, just to provide a bit more context, um, Day Away is a B2B to C SaaS platform offering inventory management solutions to hotels um, for monetizing their underutilized facility space. Um, and in the consumer perspective, it's a marketplace uh, to browse and book daytime escapes. So the business is built on strong tech, highly experienced founding team, creates a new market segment for hotels, generates incremental revenue, maximize brand awareness. And for me, most importantly, it fulfills the cultural and social satiety for users, all amidst the crisis. So it's, it's a very sound business with great potential. And then it came to me that if I were to join uh, Martha in building Day Away, we could be part of the industry's strength to chart a way forward through these turbulent times, reshape the industry, and hopefully contribute to an earlier recovery through the design of new and unconventional partnerships. So do I want to yet have another job in a sexy industry, which is safe, guarantees growth, but part of many? Or do I want to take an off-the-grid path but I'm part of the industry's revolution, maybe injecting some agility for recovery of travel in the long trip ahead, perhaps even getting the industry's worth back to that $9 million or more. So I took the plunge and I'm deeply grateful for the opportunity. Yeah, so thank you for your time today. So that is exactly why I would stay in the hotel industry because I wanna be part of the innovation and part of the process of recovery for the hospitality industry. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Pin. So clearly, you know, for Pin, it, it, what we talked about uh, the whole, you know, evening is about, you know, people, and then it's about impact and being part of a revolution in travel. So